that time of year again we are getting in the christmas spirit and i don't know about you but i truly am clinging to the joy of christmas i feel like just with personal challenges in my life and honestly just the state of the world and all of the pain and anguish and just heaviness i feel like the joy and just calmness and hope of christmas time is something that i'm just so thankful i can spend energy on and be distracted by because christmas time of course can come with many different emotions and feelings and reflections but there's just something about it where i just feel like the world is a bit kinder and a bit unified hopefully that's what i'm hoping for and striving for but today we are kicking off sort of the christmas season and going to start getting into the spirit together so we are going to go shop around i like to call these days our shopping and sourcing days because we'll definitely pick up a few things add to our collection but i also just love to window shop and sort of source inspiration and see what there is to see see what the trends are this year and all of that and then we also love to go to the library pick up some holiday themed books and yeah even just driving around sometimes i feel like i'll just see things in nature so today is about of course doing some shopping but also just getting inspired for this time of year and trying to think of craft ideas and just ways that we can celebrate together so really looking forward to today i've been looking forward to it for a while it's always one of my favorite days so let me give you a little rundown of our agenda i want to definitely go to the thrift store the library home goods target hobby lobby maybe joann's as well i feel like i just love to go to the craft stores because i feel like i get a lot of inspiration from there because there's so many different elements that you can sort of use for diys and build upon so definitely want to pop by the craft stores and then i think there was one more no i actually think that's it so we'll see if there's any other stops we want to make up we want to stop at along the way and then i did make a little wish list of just some items that i am hoping to find so I would love to find some additional garlands, especially some loose garland that I can sort of play around with the sizing. So I guess um, just little clippings of evergreens. I don't know. We'll see. And then I also really want to get timers for our Christmas lights, both inside and outside. So hopefully I'll be able to stock up on those because I want to work on my automation this year. In the past, I just like spend five minutes every morning turning everything on and five minutes at night so it'd be great if we can get everything on timers or with a remote i especially even more so than a remote i would love timers so that you can just like wake up and they're already on that just is a wonderful notion so we'll see if we can make that happen i feel like with all the outlets it can get kind of messy but i'm, I'm determined to spend more time on that this year I also want to get some magnets for a diy i want to work on and also a foam wreath for another craft we have up our sleeves so that's what we're going in for and we'll see what else we find but really excited to kick off celebrating christmas time together we picked up some coffee fuel naturally I ordered a peppermint mocha cold brew and it has little peppermint flakes on top so that's really just helping me feel the Christmas cheer. Let's give it a taste test. Mmm, delicious. Really yummy. I asked for half sweet so it wasn't overbearingly sweet but I still have those peppermint mocha flavors so really enjoying that. And now we're at the thrift store. I love to come here first so that we can check our list and see if there's anything we can find here before we go to the shops. I did recently find some garland here, which was a great score, really affordable. And I plan to use that on the front porch because something I didn't mention already is I feel pretty content with our home decor for Christmas already. This is our third Christmas in our home now. So we've collected a lot of beautiful items to enjoy inside but something that i'm excited to kind of spend more energy on this year is decorating our porch and just the exterior of our home more so i want to hopefully find some wreaths for all of our windows i absolutely love just the classic cozy christmas look for the outside especially 
and then I'd love to put bows on those and then what else I am looking for lights so if they have any warm toned lights I still am intimidated by <laughs> all the wiring and trying to pull everything in but we're gonna figure it out it's gonna be a good project and next week the weather is supposed to cool down because it is in the 80s today but next week I think will be a really fun time to decorate outside since we will get some more crisper weather these plates are so beautiful also is this bell from 1872 Are so, cute. so many fun Christmas pajama pants. Oh my goodness. It'd be fun to make a DIY with these fabrics too. This is adorable. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. One still has the tag on it. $30. That was a success. Saw many treasures, found a couple to take with us, and they did have a good selection of wreaths, which is good to know. But for what I'm looking for, I do want them all to be the same wreath, just really simple wreaths. So hopefully the craft store will have them and that's where we're headed next. This is adorable. I love the needle point look. Here are all my timers that I'm looking for. This is interesting. It's nice that it comes in a three pack. These would be really cute to stick out of the window boxes like we did with the pumpkins. Absolutely adorable. All of this little miniature stuff is giving me inspo to decorate the little library. Like how cute would that be along the edge of the house? I think I need a bigger cart. I'm hoping I can find a Christmas inspired little knob for our little library as well. This one might be okay. I mean, it's not super Christmassy, but I really just love a classic red and evergreen color scheme. So that's an option. I found this little random knob in a clearance section on an end cap, and I'm wondering, kind of looks like a poinsettia. So maybe I should do that one for our little library knob of the season. This butter dish is so insanely cute. I'm kind of talking myself out of it because I really don't need a seasonal butter dish, but wow, it's adorable. I really love anything gingerbread. I remember when I was little, I used to love decorating with these little jelly sticky things you can put on windows. This snowflake is absolutely beautiful. I really love that. The craft stores were a little overstimulating, but also super successful. I felt like I just keep kept seeing different things that we could make crafts with and definitely was inspiring. We have the ideas flowing now, which is really great feeling. And we crossed off most of the items that I was excited and hopeful to find. So that feels great. And now we can just sort of browse around and there is one thing that I would love to find maybe at home goods would have it I'm looking for a little lamp that we could keep on the porch I would love for this to just live on the porch all year round I moved one from inside um, to the front porch for Halloween when we were hanging outside there with friends and it just was so cozy and added such a warm light and I could just see myself spending a lot more time out there if we had a lamp I could read so Hopefully we'll find a little miniature lamp that would be perfect for that space. This is gorgeous velvet ribbon. 
This is so similar to a candle that was at Anthropology last season. These are really sweet. So soft. Merry oh Christmas, baby. This is a gorgeous nativity scene. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is back in the press. Making sure you can be. Every Christmas, honey. That's a very modern looking tree light. These ornaments are so incredibly adorable. I just want to live in the scene of this mug. So cute. Look at all this mushroom stuff. Oh my goodness. We have made it to our final stop of the day. We are at the library and it's 4.30 p.m. and the sun is gonna set in an hour, which for me is another big motivation to decorate for Christmas because I absolutely want to just be able to turn all of our cozy Christmas lights on as the sun starts to set and it sets so early now. So really trying to romanticize those early nights at home. So this will be a great stop to hopefully find some Christmas themed book to keep us company to keep us company this time of year. Palmer is very curious about all of our treasures. He's been sniffing and examining everything. We are home sweet home and I'm excited to show you all of the treasures. I wanna start out with the library because we actually found some on theme books. I wasn't totally sure. I feel like with autumn time, there's a little more to work with just with, I don't know, different cookbooks and stuff, but Christmas is more specific. But we found a Jenny Colligan book, Col Colgan book, Christmas at Rosie Hopkins Sweet Shop. This just looks like a book that'll feel like a Hallmark, just cozy movie. So that's what I'm hoping for. And then I also found this book called The Christmas Box, which seems like it'll be more of an emotional book, but it's a nice short read. So that could be a fun one to curl up with. And then I also found this craft coffee manual book that just seemed like an interesting read. And hopefully we always love to learn about coffee and just how to improve our personal home barista methods. So I thought this would be a fun one for both Brandon and I, especially Brandon, because he's gotten really passionate about making coffee and getting like the local roasted beans and all of that. So I think he'll enjoy that especially. And then I have everything just sort of jumbled together, so I'll try to mention where everything is from, is from in case you're interested. Let me start out with some of the thrifted finds. So this is from the thrift store. I actually purchased this at a thrift store in summertime, but I just saw it and it was so cute, so I've been holding on to it. It's this little gingerbread teapot. I absolutely love it. Also look at Palmer just watching me <laughs> over the pillows. And then I also found these mugs from the thrift shop and this was a few months ago as well but i loved the pink ribbon and the little hearts with the candles just really feminine and christmasy and cute and speaking of ribbons because there were some ribbons on those mugs i did pick up ribbons from hobby lobby i picked up these and joanne's also had very similar ribbon as well so we have these three pink colors. I also have a lot of other ribbon that I have from previous years because I just absolutely love bows and ribbons and am happy to add to the collection. I feel like I'll be saying <laughs> during our decorating day, I'll be, I'll be reiterating, when in doubt, add a ribbon. So we have that. And then I, I had another thrifted find. Oh, actually, no, I have um, just those. And then... Let's see. Okay, these I picked up from Hobby Lobby 
and my idea was to put these in the window boxes but i ended up finding something else at joann's that i think i'm gonna put in the window boxes so i'll probably end up returning these but they're cute little candy cane ornaments and then these pillows i found from hobby lobby absolutely love them and plan to put them on the porch in our rocking chairs so really really cute and i'm hesitant to keep buying pillows as much as i love them but obviously they take up a lot of space when storing but thankfully these are nice and petite so i went for it and then from hobby lobby i picked up a few more things for the little library oh this is the other i i knew i had another thrifted thing to show you so this is actually a gift for my friend but it's this swan with a little christmas bow she loves swans so every time i see something with a swan i'm like tempted to buy it for her but i think i'll just put something sweet in there and then gift that and then yeah back to the little library items we have these miniature bottle brush christmas trees i'll probably put these in the window box as well as maybe some other parts of the library and then here's the star i think i'll put this in the center which i've been talking about the little library all throughout this video but we have um this little if you're unfamiliar it's a little free library so essentially all of our neighbors can come exchange books in it and it's just a cute little thing i like to decorate for every season and this is my first year having it for christmas because we installed it last january so really excited to decorate it for christmas time okay this i ended up getting at joann's this wooden snowflake it is just so beautiful it's very good quality so i'm thinking i have a vision it is a little bigger than um now that i'm looking at everything i don't know how it'll look but i also purchased this garland from joanne it's a little tangled right now here's the garland it's a little scrunched up but i plan to maybe style this sort of draped on the edge of our our hood in our kitchen instead of doing a wreath that i like i normally do and have done for autumn and christmas last year i'm thinking of switching it up with the garland and maybe some little elements this is all discombobulated i'm trying to find i picked out this garland because i liked the way it looked a little bit more natural just sort of um with the different like draping pieces i feel like i'm not doing it justice right now and it is kind of like um tangled still but if i can sort of style it and have different pieces sort of drape on the edge and then have this over it i don't know i don't know we're really gonna have to play around with that but i'm having fun just like trying new ideas oh now it's stuck in my hair and then these are the sprigs I found at Joann's that I'm thinking of putting in the window boxes on the outside of our home. And I also picked up this wreath base that I want to use for a fun DIY. I'm going to try probably tomorrow actually. So this is the base for, for that. And then I think that's everything from the craft. Oh, a couple more things from the craft stores. This is also to decorate the little library. And then I purchased this bow because today as I was picking out my outfit and getting dressed, I have a bow in my hair, but I was like, oh, I wish I had a red bow to really just be in that Christmas color scheme. And this is a wrapping bow. It doesn't have a barrette or anything on the back, but I'm just going to add my own clip and then I can wear this with different outfits. So I thought that would be fun. And then for home goods i found a couple things so the first is this picture frame that i can use all year round but i want to add some christmas art in it and i believe i want to put this by our coffee station so picked that up not 100 percent sure if i'll end up using and keeping that but nice to have that option and then i also purchased this tree skirt because i did invest in another christmas tree for our bedroom this year and this goes really nicely with the christmas quilt we have so really looking forward to decorating that space and then target i purchased a few lights for the exterior of our home we have these little burst stars that are just so dreamy 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 and then i also purchased these snowflake stars and i'm thinking i'll either put them outside or i might put them over the windows in our 
living room. I'm kind of tempted to do that because I can just only imagine how just lovely that would be. Curling up right here with the lights, a book. I'm thinking that's gonna be the move. And then I also picked up this little tree basket. Not totally sure what I'll put in here, but it's just a really cute decor piece with a lot of possibilities. And then lastly, World Market. I just love World Market. I feel like so many of their pieces are inspired and different. And I saw the collection of these bells and I just absolutely fell in love with them. So we have this beautiful dove bell and then this iron bell with the gorgeous velvet ribbon. And then this is an ornament technically, but it's also a bell with some hand painted designs. And then we have this star. And my plan is to sort of have a little gallery wall moment of the bells. I'm thinking I'm gonna do that, but I might end up just putting them in different spots. This could also be pretty over our range, the stove top. Um, with the garland so we're definitely gonna just see how everything looks or even the star could look really pretty up there so lots of possibilities and then our last item this bell garland with the velvet ribbon that's just so beyond gorgeous and can use in many different places so clearly we found lots and lots of treasures today i'm so thankful for all these decorations and just thankful that we have a home to enjoy and just find so much comfort and safeness in so really really grateful and i'm so excited to decorate i plan to decorate in a few days so looking forward to sharing that process with you all as well but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you are feeling well and i'm excited to continue to celebrate the christmas time together see you soon